All right. Hello and welcome to The Knowledge Seat. I'm the tech curator and in this video I'm going to explain my process for creating a virtual machine in my upgraded Proxmox virtual environment version 9. I was recently on version 8 and I tried to do an in-place upgrade that failed miserably so I uploaded the DVD ISO to this fresh installer version 9 which allows me to just go ahead and create this server and I'll name it server 1. And for my OS, I'm going to click on the ISO image that I already uploaded to my host machine. And that's the RHEL 9.5 DVD ISO. And for my system selection, I'm going to keep everything as default because I don't need to change it. And then for the disk, I'm going to set myself up um, and future proof myself for my practice labs that I'm preparing for RHCSA. So I'm going to use SDA and SDB, and those are going to act as my uh, storage devices. <clears throat> now for my sockets, I'm limited on my hardware. So I'm going with one socket and two cores. Now for memory, um, I'm going to be running a lot of processes on these servers. So I'm going with six gigabytes worth of memory. Now my network selection probably could be different. Um, but instead of doing the pair of virtualized, I'm with the Intel E1000E, and this is my summary. All right, I'll go ahead and press finish, and Proxmox will create this virtual machine. If I click on the host, the drop down, I can see the virtual machine ID. I'll click on console, and now I can go ahead and start this machine. Once this machine is done booting, it is going to log me in or take me through the Anaconda installation wizard. This is where I can make my selections for creating a RHEL 9.5 virtual machine within Proxmox. So I'll select my English or my language as English. And then root password, I'm using a random string that I'm not going to know so that when I go and practice how to interrupt the boot process, um, I'll know how to actually verify whether or not I change the root password and actually can gain access to this server all right so i typed the password a known password the first time and had to type in an unknown password the second time all right now i'm going to go ahead and create a backup user um, this allows me to act as an administrator and still access the server even if i'm not doing the um, root access to the console right so the next thing i did was the selection to connect to my red hat um, account and I want to keep my information a little bit private here, um, but that was successful. I suggest that you do that. And then I select SDA because when you do LSBLK, list block devices, it just looks better when you're using SDA versus SDB as your boot device. And then I needed to change my uh, time zone and I did it to something that is not actually accurate so that I can have practice changing the time zone within the command line interface. Next, I choose server with GUI so that you all can see me console into this server and the network is going to remain as DHCP. This allows me to change the network configurations through the command line interface and get pra practice with NMCLI. So I begin the installation and I'm going to run through that and then just go ahead and reboot the machine. Once this machine comes back up, I'll go ahead and log in, but overall, Thank you for watching. This is the way that you create a virtual machine in Proxmox VE version 9. All right. I really appreciate you all for tuning in for this video. I'm not going to run you on for too long. You all have an amazing, wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Stay tuned and live well. Live long and prosper.